Okay guys, so today we're going to see how we can uh, deploy a, a static website on Code Smash. So this is a new feature and I've been talking about this one for a while now. So let's see how we can get this uh, going. Uh, the first things first, yeah, we're gonna go to our profile screen. We're gonna see here that uh, we have web hosting available now. So the only thing that we have to do at this point is just click here. Once we're on this screen, we can just type in the name of uh, our app, doesn't matter what it is. Okay, this should be good enough. And we just uh, click deploy. At this point, our app is going to start deploying. It takes a while and uh, you can just go and uh, visit another tab, it uh, doesn't really matter. But once it actually starts deploying, right, you will be able to uh, see it right here. It's going to be the first one. So here's the thing, uh, it actually takes up to six or seven minutes for this app to be deployed. So even if you go here, you will be able to see that uh, you can't actually see the values of any of these services, right? And if you go to the pipeline tab, you'll see that it's uh, in deploying state. So like I said, you can just go and uh, visit any other tab. And once it's deployed, you will be able to see all the services that are uh, created on your AWS account for this specific app. So we're going to come back and uh, look at our app once it has been deployed. And we're back. So as you can see, guys, our app is here. We can go and click on it and see the details. Now the services are finally loading. Uh, so on this here screen, we can clearly see that there are three services that have been set up for us on our AWS account. So that's an S3 bucket. And this is where you're going to be storing your files that are going to be hosted and that are going to be served through your website. You have an AWS Lambda at Edge which means this is going to be used to process the routing request for your website. And the last one is AWS CloudFront, which is actually a CDN, which is going to be distributing your static files globally so that uh, any user, regardless of uh, their location, they can basically just uh, visit your website uh, with the minimal latency and uh, see the website as uh, fast as possible. The other things are just uh, regular features with the uh, Code Smash that you will see with, when you're also launching the uh, REST API app. So nothing important here. So what's actually important is the next tab, the uh, website tab. So here you can see your default domain. So whenever you deploy an app through Code Smash, you're going to get a default domain where you can visit your app and it's going to be on uh, cloudfront.net. So the thing is, uh, at some point, I'm going to also add uh, another uh, input here where you'll be able to add your own custom domain. But for now, this is the way to go. Uh, so this is going to work. Okay, so the next section is the upload file section. Obviously from here you can uh, access your S3 bucket and here you can uh, upload your static files. So once you've uploaded the, the files, they will be immediately visible on your website. Uh, the last two sections are just, uh, you know, the delete file section. Every time you want to basically change the website, update it, you can just uh, delete uh, all the files and uh, upload the new ones. And you have to make sure that uh, once you've changed the files you also clear the cache because even though you've uh, removed the files they are still cached globally so that like I said your users can access them quickly and uh, that's why when you change the files you will have to clear the cache. Once you've cleared the cache, the users will then be able to see the new website. Uh, the last one is the pipeline and this is pretty much the same like with uh, the REST API. So let's, uh, let's now try to upload some files and see how the website works. So the best thing to do right now is to just open the uh, S3 by clicking here. So your bucket is going to be visible here on uh, AWS. So the only thing you have to do is just click upload. Uh, once you've done that, so I've got an example Next.js application here. Let's go and just literally just drag and drop the files here and click upload. There's really not much uh, else that you need to do. You can see that the files are being uh, uploaded. Once uh, all of them are uploaded, we're just going to go and uh, visit the website 
and you'll be able to see that it's actually working so the upload is now done we can close this let's just go back to our website yeah you can just copy the domain from here you can go right here and uh, let's just do this and uh, yeah that's pretty much it this is uh, this is an example next.js uh, template uh, i've launched it uh, from code smash as you can clearly see the code smash logo and uh, here's the thing uh, this is only temporary this upload file section I mean you'll be able to use it whenever you want but ultimately if we go back uh, to the main page the next thing that uh, I mentioned that we're that you will be able to deploy is uh, uh, this app here the uh, next.js app so basically what you'll be able to do is uh, just click on the uh, app and um, and once you've clicked uh, deploy this specific app is going to be built and all the files are automatically going to be sent to your s3 bucket so that means they will be automatically synced with this here bucket and you will be able to see them on your website so manually copy pasting the files will not be needed if we now want to delete this website uh, we can first demonstrate how we're going to actually delete the files so if you click delete now you'll see that uh, it has started deleting the files and it's pretty much already done so let's go back to our bucket so you can clearly see the files here let's just refresh and the files are gone uh, the only other thing that's left for us to do is uh, to remove the app itself uh, here there's one thing that you just need to do and just click uh, delete now here's the thing with uh, this specific uh, application on AWS so CloudFront when it's connected with the uh, lambda at edge functions when you try to delete them on the first run it uh, it will just not delete them meaning it's not going to finish successfully so here you will just see where it says in progress instead of saying succeeded once it's done it's going to say failed but that's really not that big of a deal because the only thing you have to do after you see this just click on retry here and once it finishes and it says uh, succeeded then you'll be able to see this button here light up and you'll be able to click on it and you delete your app so this is actually going to take up to 15 minutes which is why we're going to come back and look at this section uh, once it's done and we're back so you can clearly see here guys that uh, the status is like I said failed and you have a retry button here once you've clicked on that it's gonna start redeploying and it's going to go into succeeded status after that so once that's done you will be able to just uh, delete your app by uh, clicking this button here so let's just uh, let this run and again we're gonna come back when it's uh, finished and we're back again as you can see guys uh, the delete now button here is available and the status of the pipeline is succeeded so the only thing you have to do now to completely get rid of this app is just click here delete now it's going to delete your app and uh, it's going to redirect you back to the apps list so once that's done the app is going to be removed so that's that when it comes to the actual uh, tutorial for this feature uh, let me just say that uh, with code smash you can now deploy you know unlimited websites and from the code smash uh, side this is of course like every other feature completely free when it comes to the pricing on the AWS side uh, we can just see here let's go and uh, check out the pricing page so it's the Amazon s3 right this is where you'll be hosting your uh, files as you can see for each uh, gigabyte monthly you only pay 0 0.023 dollars and uh, that's for the first uh, 50 terabytes after that it's uh, just going to get cheaper then after that we got another service that we're using like I said we have lambda at edge and the pricing for this one is uh, actually it's actually 60 cents uh, for 1 million requests right so that's uh, next to nothing you're probably not going to have uh, 1 million visits uh, a month so that's uh, that's really really low uh, let's see what else yeah now for the uh, cloud front pricing you can see here that for the first 10 terabytes and uh, again just gets uh, cheaper from here for but for the first 10 terabytes you will just pay per gigabyte 0 0.085 dollars 
which is literally next to nothing. If we now compare this to Vercel, and as you might know that uh, at some point you're going to outgrow the hobby plan and you'll be using the uh, pro plan and that's going to be $20 each month per user and on top of that you're going to start paying you know for example each request is going to be an invocation of the edge function right just like uh, lambda edge and here for the first uh, million you know uh, you're going to have these included but after that you will literally be paying for 1 million executions you're going to be paying two dollars and if we compare here it's just uh, 60 cents there's that so you've got one terabyte of bandwidth included after that you will be paying forty dollars for an extra 100 gigs while with the uh, cloud front it's basically just going to be 0 0.085 for the first uh, 10 terabytes and just remember that you also have the free tier plan on AWS and if you stay within the free tier everything's free so the pricing on AWS is uh, much much better than compared to Vercel and at this point I think that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial uh, so let's talk about what's going to come next uh, like I said the next thing that uh, we're going to be including is the uh, Next.js app, right? So like I said previously, you're just going to click deploy, it's going to automatically go to your uh, S3 bucket and you will have your website deployed. That's it for today guys, right? So please like the video, uh, comment uh, in the comment section if you have any questions and uh, I'll see you next time.